man spots Cal acting strangely before it dawns on him that he needs to follow her right away. A man named Dave was driving through Millbrook, Ontario, a township home to about 8,000 people, when he spotted a herd of typical brown cows. So, he pulled over to check them out, but quickly noticed one cow was acting a bit strange. Perplexed at first, he soon realized the reason for the cow's behavior, and it was a matter of life or death, it all started on that fateful drive as Dave made his way through the small township not far from Lake Ontario and the United States border. On his way, he pulled over to inspect a grazing herd of cows, and he saw something strange. Now, Dave was no cow expert, but he had an inkling that it was not normal behavior for cows to scrape at the dirt while mooing and whining like this one cow was doing. Something, he knew, was amiss. The cow, who, according to the tag on her ear, was named Flo, took long looks at Dave over her shoulder while she continued hoofing the ground and making noises of distress. He began to consider that the cow needed something. But what? Flo had lush green pastures to graze in and a pond for drinking and swimming. As far as Dave could tell, she had the cattle equivalent of a penthouse suite. On closer inspection, however, Dave noticed something strange in the grass near Flo. Hidden in the grass and on the wrong side of the farm's fence was a calf, and he was lying helplessly in a ball. Had the mother cow, Dave wondered, simply been warning him to stay away from her baby? It only took a moment for Dave to realize he was wrong, futilely, the mother cow sniffed her calf through the fence, and it was clear she wanted help. As he crouched down beside the fence, Dave realized just how much trouble this calf was in. The calf was dry as a desert stone, a sign he'd been dehydrated and in the sun for some time. More concerning, though, was the fresh umbilical cord still attached to the baby. That meant the poor calf had been born earlier that day. But worst of all, the calf was alive, but clearly scared, and he was lying beside an electric fence that had no visible gates. If Dave was going to help the baby, he was going to have to brave about 2,500 volts coursing through the fence's wires, enough for some unpleasant shocks. But Dave knew the stakes. A newborn calf needed milk and a mother's affection, what's more, if Dave left the calf where he lay, he could wander into the road and get hit. With little hesitation, he crouched down and went to work. Picking the calf up and carrying him to a gate, wherever the nearest one was, sounded like a recipe for a bad back and an angry mama cow. The best option, as far as Dave could tell, was to gently nudge the calf under the fence, bit by bit. Taking a few shocks in the process, Dave lifted the lowest wire of the electric fence with some kind of stick and painstakingly worked the calf underneath it. Unfortunately, the newborn calf didn't offer much help in moving. Meanwhile, Flo responded positively to the operation, despite the shocks her newborn was taking from the electric fence. Dave understood that he needed to show he was taking the utmost of precautions with her baby. After a delicate process, Dave gave the calf one final push, and he broke free from the shocks of the electric fence. Finally, he was back inside the pasture with his mother, who greeted her baby with some sniffs. But Dave's mission wasn't over yet. First, he participated in what appeared to be a spontaneous reunion party. Flo was thrilled to have her baby back and Dave was equally pleased to have helped them out. After saying his goodbyes to the cattle, the heroic man headed towards the home he spotted on a distant hill. There, Dave spoke with a farmer and his wife, who were the owners of the new baby cow. Unsurprisingly, they didn't even know their sturdy cow had given birth. For them, there was work to do, so they invited Dave along. Together, the farmers and Dave tagged the calf's ear and used iodine to treat the still dangling umbilical cord. Though the calf seemed healthy, the farmers feared he'd suffered some physical damage from the hot sun. But much to the farmer's delight, the young calf was in tremendous shape, though he probably had a killer sun tan. The calf, it seemed, had truly lucked out, what could have been a disaster turned out to only be a minor struggle, thanks to Dave. In fact, Flo seemed to recognize the gravity of what Dave had done for her and her baby. As the mother walked away, led by her happy calf, she gave Dave one last knowing look as if to say, thank you. For some, stopping in the middle of a drive to look at some cows wouldn't even cross their minds. 
But Dave took a minute to observe the often underappreciated parts of nature and the world, and he ended up playing a big role in a life-changing moment. If Dave hadn't stopped to observe the cows, the situation could have ended far grimmer. Whether it was intuition or sheer proximity that saved the day, it's hard to be sure, but for another animal in peril, the location was truly everything. While hanging out in their yard, one family heard a mysterious splash only to discover a dramatic scene where time was of the essence. Please share this with your friends and family. Thank you for watching this fantastic story. Please tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing wonder stories.